My name is Aaron. I'm a real estate agent in Seattle, Washington that produces over six figures a year from cold calling. And today I wanted to show you how I run my day. The reason I wanted to do this is because I see a lot of agents get it wrong and focus on the wrong things and you make excuses on why they can't take listings. So by the end of this video, you should understand how to prioritize your day how to prioritize certain events, and how to structure your day so you can get the most out of it. So it's 8.15 a.m., I woke up around seven. I used to be all about the morning routine, hit the gym, do all the, wake up at like three hours in advance, and then just do everything in the world before then, like read an entire book, or red light therapy, or whatever. And I think those things are great, but what I've come to realize is you just need to be functional by eight. Okay, for me personally, working out in the morning made me tired by 2 p.m., and then, like I wanted to take a nap or something. I don't wanna feel that way. So I moved my workouts to the nighttime. So again, for me, my morning routine is just be functional and showered by 8 a.m. And the purpose of 8 a.m. is because this is when we are legally allowed to start calling people. This is, a these, this is like a reasonable time to reach out to someone. So at 8 a.m. I have my yerba mate prepared. This is my source of caffeine. I go through about like nine cups of these a day. And the first thing I do is hop on my Discord. The Discord is a group call of other real estate agents across the United States, all cold calling as well. This forces me to be here, which is great pressure to help me build that habit and discipline. If you can push yourself to start cold calling at 8 a.m., that's wonderful, that's great. But it never hurts to have this additional pressure and also it's nice to do it with other people. Now here's something really important. This is actually why I wanted to make this video. I have four transactions that I have to attend to, but I'm going to ignore them. The first thing I have to do is contact a septic designer or a septic installer and figure out when he's going to start this project so we can close the, the, the transaction on time. So it's pretty important. The second thing I need to do is contact the HOA to get a resale certificate so we can close on time. And this is pretty important. The third and fourth remaining things that I have to do is I need to submit two offers so I can wholesale those two homes. Now these are all really important things, but I'm not going to attend to them right now. I'm gonna get to them at 11 a.m. The reason I'm going to be ignoring these really important things until 11 a.m. is because I need to lead generate. As a real estate agent and a business owner, you have to realize at some point that your business can't grow without lead generation. Some agents, when they have a few deals under contract, they're like, oh, all my time has to go into servicing these clients. Firstly, no transaction takes all your time. Okay, you can like, you can work on it for one, two hours a day. Like, it, nothing takes an entire day. But agents love to use the excuse of, oh, I couldn't lead generate because I have, I have this one transaction that's pending and I have to do all this to, no, you don't. You're just a poor, you're just poor at time management. The second thing is that nothing's gonna change whether I do this now or later at 5 p.m. Nothing will change, okay? And you have to realize that. When I first realized that, it kind of, it, it took some time, but it proved, it turned out to be correct. Like, it doesn't matter whether I contact the septic installer now or at noon. It doesn't matter. The problem is still gonna be there. The problem will still be resolved. A three to eight hour delay is not going to like destroy anything. So this is something I wanna drill into your guys' head is don't focus on like these maintenance tasks. You need to focus on the growth of your business via lead generation. So for me, 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. is my uninterrupted, non-negotiable lead generation time. If you even call my personal number, my voicemail says, hey, this is Aaron. If you were calling me between 8 to 11 a.m., um, it's, uh, I can't, I, you can't reach me at that time. You can either text me or wait till 11 a.m. and I will call you back. I set up these boundaries pro with professionally with my clients. They all know they can't reach me before 8 to 11. And if you try calling me, like that's the message you get. So for you, if you're bad at time management and you're not putting a dedicated time in your day to lead generate, I highly recommend you implement thing what I'm doing. What I do want to focus on right now is this hot lead that my ISA brought me. Hey, um, you look busy. You got, you got a sit? 
I have a sec. What's up? All right. So yesterday I was uh, talking to Misa, right? For hold on, hold on. I, I can't. I can't be. I can't be handling like this kind of stuff right now, Cody. I have to. I have to focus on what I got. Okay. Oh, shit, find okay. find me find me after like eleven. All right. All right, you're good, you're good. That's Cody, um, he's one of my new students in the academy and he is just absolutely crushing it. He's creating listings left and right. And, and although I don't wanna like cut him off like that, I, I have to protect my time. You know, my time is very valuable and I hope you can understand that your time is valuable too. All right, anyway, so um, I've restructured my business. I have several ISAs, that, those are inside sales agents. These are Filipinos that I pay for $6 an hour plus commission. And their job is to hunt leads for me, hunt hand raisers for me. People that are like, yeah, I might be moving in the next, w within the next year. One of them found me a lead last night. She DMs me this morning saying, hey, that lead I found last night, it's urgent. He's looking for a real estate agent ASAP. So I'm gonna give him a call right now. This is, this is what I need to be focusing on at eight to 11 a.m. I need to be focusing on the growth and movement of my business, not the maintenance of any transactions that are go ongoing. My highest dollar producing activity is setting appointments and then going on those appointments to close them. So this guy's name, Mr. Kelly, he wants to move away from Seattle. He is downsizing. He will go to the ocean short. Um, he is cleaning his house right now. He's ready to sell. He has no agent. He's looking for one. He's an old man. The time frame is end of this year. All right, let's give him a call. Yes. Hey, Mr. Kelly, this is Aaron. You spoke to my girl last night about uh, your potential move outside of Seattle. Sounds like you're looking to sell, is that right? Not, at this, not today. No, I, I understand. It sounds like you're um, prepping for the move. What's going on? I'm just making a change. Yeah, yeah, we all like change. Um, yeah, you wanted to move to the Ocean Shore, yeah? No, I have a house in Ocean Shores. Right. I'm just moving out of Seattle. It's just, anyway, I just, I'm not gonna, I don't wanna talk right now, thanks. That's okay. Michael, if you, what the fuck? So for some reason that guy didn't wanna talk. Um, he, both on the ISA's recording and my recording, he seems a little hesitant to talk to someone, even though he doesn't have a real estate agent. So I, either I, or I'm gonna have my listing partner go knock on his door. I think the thing that's amazing about this is um, the lead that she found me is the Redfin estimate is seven hundred eighty-nine thousand dollars. So let's just say eight hundred thousand. If I close this at three percent, which I'll get three percent because I'm the listing agent, that's a twenty-four thousand dollar commission check, and that one transaction pays for forty months of having that ISA, which is insane. The ROI of having an ISA, and for not only financially but for time, the, the saving of time has been a complete game changer. Again, shout out to the Glaze King, Alex Bradshaw for putting me on this. But hiring ISAs have been, has been like one of the best things I've ever done. So basically, instead of me putting all my time into talking to a bunch of cold random bleeds that may or may not be interested in moving, I've now hired that out and that's constantly happening regardless of whether I'm actually present to do that or not. And currently I have three ISAs, so I have three of me dialing for six hours a day. I, I'm basically lead generating for 18 hours a day. And now for me, it's just up to me to snipe these and set appointments. Eventually the goal is to hire an ISA to do that for me, or at least like scrape through all my old leads in the CRM to to find the hand raisers so that I can set them down and also maybe have an, another ISA to find uh, Appointment schedule. Nice job, this dude. is my like, first Zoom, hold on, Aaron, this is my first Zoom call meeting to get time. Right now it's 8.46 a.m. In 15 minutes, I have a call with my Yoon Group agents. So this is the vision call. This is what I do with my Yoon Group agents. This is where I hop on uh, twice a week with them and help them identify and solve problems in their business that they didn't even know they had. It, it allows agents to hear about conversations that they wouldn't be open to. We have this guy in there that does flips. So we're, me and the other agents are, are listening to him about him seeking out flipping opportunities and how that's going. And so one of my other agents, Shova, was actually like, hey, I think I found a flip op opportunity. I think I can, like, I think I could flip this. And me, me too, like, I just went on the listing appointment where I'm like, I think I could flip this property. So 
But like prior to talking to him about this, I don't think I would have thought that way. Uh, and and that same goes for my other agent. Or I'm talking about ISAs, and like I have a few agents in there that were like, "Hey, can you put me on this ISA game?" So they're both. I got two agents right now on in the Yoon group on the ISA train, and now they're running a model similar to mine. I got an agent in the Yoon group that wants to be a thought leader in the pre foreclosure space, similar to how I'm doing what I'm doing. So. I'm putting him game on how I'm doing this and how he can take the steps to go that route as a as a pre foreclosure professional in, in the social media space. So these vision calls are really cool. It allows the Union Group agents to see what others are doing and what they could be doing better and I'm there to hold them accountable. And it also forces me to grow as well, not only as a leader, but like, you know, my guy's doing flips. I'm literally listening to him come through, come across flip opportunities, so I'm doing the same. This is cut number two of Yerba. So basically what I'm saying is I have 15 minutes to get through my calls before I have to hop on a 30 minute vision call. So, so Melody, I, I have to get going here, but um, okay. is, is this something you'd like to move forward with? Yeah, I would like to find out exactly how the reverse mortgage works. Okay, I will put and, you in touch uh, with, uh, with my person. Well, yeah, as soon as I understand, you know, the process and how to go about it and all that kind of stuff, I think it would help clarify the fog maybe later on this evening or... Sure. Yeah, yeah, no, there's... Yeah, that's fine. Just get yeah. to it. Just get to it when you can. Okay. All right. That sounds fine. Melody, good to hear from you again. I, I, yeah, I, I was wondering what happened. Yeah, you too, Aaron. All right. Well, I'll, <laughs> I'll probably reach out later at the end of this week to see how the reverse mortgage thing went and how we can proceed from here, okay? Okay. Sounds right. good. Talk to you later. Okay, bye-bye. Oh, man, that took an hour. That was a lady I went on a listing appointment with last week. She almost signed, couldn't get it through because she changed her plans financially, but we're back on track, and this is going to be a buy and sell. That buy and sell total is going to be worth about $20,000 in commissions. So hopefully that gets done this year. All right, it's 11 p.m. It's 11 a.m., this is where I time block time to hang out with my bird. Because <laughs> he's just been in his room for the last three hours. Oh, you were so cute. Go, boo. Oh, good job. Come on. He's potty trained. Right now, I have scheduled for a um, hour-long call with my business partner for the Conversion Academy. We're thinking about switching up our offer instead of helping agents... Uh, hit 100k cold calling. I'm th we're thinking about adding on how to hire ISAs so you don't have the cold call anymore and hit multiple six figures that way. Let's say, let's say we only hit 500. Bro, that's 5 million. Are we about to hit seven figures? Dude, we just need 50 of these clients for half a mil. All right, I gotta go, dude. I have to go. Right. See you later. Okay, I just wrapped up my hour-long call, which ended up being two hours long. So I still haven't even eaten lunch. That's why it's so important for me to eat yerba mate, because I don't eat breakfast. I don't eat, sometimes I don't eat lunch. In this case, I don't eat lunch. Um, so I need the caffeine to like suppress my appetite and keep me, keep me sharp and going so I can eat food at dinner time. I have seven minutes to take care of multiple items like the septic installation and the HOA resale certificate. The wholesale offers can wait till nighttime. I'll, I'll work on that later. One thing I want you to understand about like efficiency and time is that I don't leave this chair. I don't, like everything that can be done from the computer that results in the highest dollar per hour activity, I try to do. I don't drop, I, I try not to spend time driving. That's why like some listing appointments, I try to take over Zoom if I can. If the drive is too far out, I'm gonna have someone else go on that presentation for me. To maximize my time requires me to be here and make stuff happen at my computer. And in fact, by doing so, this actually allows me to do this from anywhere in the world. Okay, so my 1 p.m. flaked. He didn't answer my calls. He didn't answer my Instagram DMs. Um, he, is, he already rescheduled before. I will... I sent a message to my staff to let them know this guy cannot reschedule on my calendar again. Because if you've already rescheduled last minute and you don't show up to that reschedule, you are getting zero time from me. Like you're you're like dead to me. So now I actually have an hour to get all my like previously needed to tasks done. Yeah. Thank you, Aaron. I mean, I swear to God. I mean, when all is said and done, 
you know you can't like leave my life because it's like you're really important to me. <laughs> I'll, always be, I'll always be here, even if you're in Tanzania. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I will, again, thank you for everything, Aaron. You are the best. And um, I will let uh, Kabongo know all of this later. All right, thank sounds you know. good. Yeah, of course. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Bye. Right, bye. There are some clients that like really stick out in my head and, and this client that I'm, I'm working with, she's an expired lead. You know, her house tried to, she tried to sell her house before and unfortunately the agent couldn't price coach her and help her understand like, hey, you are way overpriced. So brought, brought them down to reality and now we're actually making things move. She's able to move forward with her life and that's what this is all about. It's like showing the sellers, here's exactly how you do it correctly. Let me do it for you. And then I'm doing it for them. It's 1.38. I have a coaching call in tw 22 minutes. Like I have several coaches for different areas of my life. I need several coaches for all areas. I need coaches for all areas of my life because like in order for you to progress in different areas of your life. You need someone that understands a mastery of each area for, for your life. So I have, I have different mentors and coaches that guide me on how to, how to improve in certain aspects of my life. And it's a very important call, so I need to make sure I can wrap everything up within 22 minutes. So I've taken care of the septic installation. I have updates on that. I have everything I need to know about that. Now I need to get the HOA resale certificates order. And this is the bullshit. This is the bullshit excuses that I get from other agencies like, I have two transactions that are going on. I need to take care of them. Well, I'm taking care of both of them in an hour. It's all about how you time manage and time block and how efficient you are. It doesn't take all day. It shouldn't take away from lead generation. Your lead generation shouldn't be affected from like a few transactions that you have. Just get, just take care of everything in an hour and you're good. There's 16 waking hours in the day. Like there's this, no transaction should take all your fucking time. All right, so I just uh, ordered resale certificate. I put it off way too long, so I had to pay an extra $125 for rush delivery. Um, that was my mistake. That was really fucking stupid of me. I, I, always put, I always put these things off. I should have had a TC. Like, I, sh I should have a TC for this. I've, I've had two TCs. I stopped working with her every... Like, I'm like, I don't need, I'm not doing enough transactions to like call for a TC, it's fine. And then I put stuff off like this and it costs fucking $400. I'm, I'm paying for the resale certificate. I actually ordered it late. So I had to pay a rush fee for 125, which is, uh, which put the total to $400. Again, like I, I always put the paperwork stuff like off and that's, it always bites me in the ass. So I, I, I have to delegate that to someone else. I have taken care of both transactions within an hour. All right, I don't want to ever hear from my students like, or my agents, oh, I, I couldn't lead generate, I have to take care of my listings. Shut up, dude. Oh, you so cute. All right, so I just wrapped up a hour long meeting about, this was actually a, um, this is a coach I have for my skeletal alignment. So I have flat feet and I know that with things like this, like you can resolve these kinds of things naturally. I saw this guy online who fixes people's feet, which also is more of a alignment of the whole body. So that was my first call with that guy. Um, I already feel a difference in the way I stand and use my feet. So now I'm about to hop on um, a, a sales call for the agent that wants to join the accelerator. So we'll see how this call ends up. You were too cute. All right, so that guy was broke. Guys, don't fucking book a call about the listing agent accelerator or soon to be the listing machine. Don't book a call with me if you aren't willing, if you don't have money. Like my programs are expensive because it teaches you how to make money, but basically forever. I give you high ticket sales skills. I give you extremely valuable sales skills. I teach you like with this money, you can make millions in your life, millions in your lifetime. My programs are expensive. My coachings are expensive because they teach you how to make a lot of money. So if you're broke or unwilling to invest in yourself, don't schedule a time with me, please. You're taking time away from me 
and the other people who want to book a time with me to talk about changing their lives financially. All right, it's 3.43 p.m. right now. Um, I have one more appointment for an agent that wants to join the accelerator. And then maybe I'll eat. Now I know myself, I know that as soon as I eat a meal at this late in the day, I will crash, I will crash hard. Um, and then the rest of my day gets ruined. So maybe I'll just starve myself until like 7, 8 p.m go to the gym. You know, my goal is to be fully leveraged and remove myself from transactions. It's to free up myself in uh, locationally so I can run my business from my computer. Um, I'm, that's why I'm going so hard with coaching and scaling and creating leverage in both my coaching and my transactional business is to free myself and build wealth so that I can take care of me and my family. And what I'm realizing now is like the speed of it is so important because you need to be able to make enough money to not only support your life for a year, but you need to be able to make excess what it costs to maintain, to maintain your life. So if you need, if you have like $10,000 of expenses every month, then you need to take $120,000 and then everything you make after that is what can be invested. But in order to have money to invest, you need to be able to out earn your living expenses. And the only way to out earn your living expenses is to operate with speed and efficiency. So speed, like how quickly can you make things happen? And efficiency is like, how efficient can you be in the two things that make you money? Lead generation and conversion rate. So efficiency with lead generation is like, how efficient can your lead, can your lead flow be? And right now, I, I think with my ISAs, I think that's a great, a great start for uh, efficiency and lead generation because lead, leads are coming to me, like they're pouring in through my Discord from my ISAs as I just run my day. And my efficiency and conversion comes from my high conversion rate because for, you know, if you compare my skills to an average agent, if you, if, if, if the average agent and I are calling the same leads, I have a very different result than that, than that average agent. If you're efficient in your lead generation and you're efficient in your conversion rate, you have the ability to out earn your living expenses. And if you're operating both of those things with speed, then you are in a good position. So that's where I'm trying to be at. Something I could have never dreamed of happening is that uh, next week, on a whim, like a few days ago, I made a decision to go to Korea for an entire week with my family. And like prior to that, I would be so anxious about it because I'm like, no, I need to be home to like work because money can't be made unless I'm home working. But now because I have listing partners to go out on listing appointments with me, because I have ISAs generating leads for me, um, the money doesn't stop. Like the, the business doesn't stop if I leave. And that's because I have built somewhat of a listing machine. So I'm very happy about that. Uh, maybe one day I will release this information to the public so I can teach you all to free yourself and uh, create a listing machine that runs without you having to be there. All right, so now I officially have nothing on the calendar. I have a decision to make. I can go eat, but I know if I eat at this late in the day, if I'm eating at 4 p.m., I am going to crash and like be so tired afterwards. So I can continue working on caffeine and suppress that appetite um, until about 7 p.m. and eat then and then go to the gym or I can go eat now, succumb to the desires of my flesh and then risk the potential L of my day I'm going to take. So which one should I do? I would... I love succumbing to the desires of my flesh. All right, how about I continue dialing and setting appointments for the next hour, and we'll see where that gets me. Hey Susan, this is Aaron. You spoke to my gal earlier this morning. She mentioned that you were looking to sell and move out of Lake Stevens. Is that still the plan? Well, I, um, I'm trying to sell my house. Okay. And so I, um, I, I have an agent, so and I'm probably going to stay with them. You know, I mean. What makes so, you say that? <laughs> I don't know dedication. I guess. Mm. We can yeah. get together and go over exactly what this would look like, and then if you like what I have to offer, then you can make them some decisions from there. 
Okay, well, I, I would love to hear, hear, you know, what you could do for me. Sure. Okay, well, I, I look forward to chatting with you. All right, Susan. I'll talk to you soon. Okay, okay thanks All a right. lot. I'll Bye. see you soon. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Bye. All right, so there is my appointment for Saturday. I guess I could have set that appointment for today, but like, dude, I haven't eaten all day. I'm not wanting to drive out 30 minutes. I might not even go to this appointment. I, I might just send my um, my listing partner out to go to go hunt it down. Hey, bro. Why up, old boy? Do you want to knock a few doors for me? If you can get him in contact, we could we could split it. This guy's North Seattle. So he's not too far from you. Like, okay, I'm not far though, I'm like 10 minutes. I still need a fucking Supra box. Will you send me a picture of your balls for it? You are so fucking gay. Do you want a picture of my ass too? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this home you sent me to is a fucking shithole. Let me see. Look at this shit. It's, uh, it's the one up the stairs. You have to go up the stairs. Yeah, that shit up there? Yeah. I think your review is fucking with you. Mm, why? Because he said he didn't talk to anybody. He's not moving. He's not interested. And then he shut the door. Okay, I'm exhausted, dude. Let's go eat. All right. Oh, it's uh, 5.32 p.m. I am exhausted physically and mentally. I have eaten nothing except nine cups of this. I have made no money. I have created one new listing opportunity for myself, but I have made no money today. I've actually spent $409 to order, to rush order a resale certificate. Uh, but that's life of an entrepreneur, I guess. Sometimes you make money and some days you make negative money. All right, now it's 8.49 p.m. I just came back from getting dinner with a friend of mine. Went to the gym, put together my guitar stand for my guitars. They've just been laying in their cases all this time, so now I'm going to edit this video because my editor quit on me yesterday. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I wanna know what stood out to you. What did you learn from this? What did you realize? What thoughts do you... Is this retard? Is my was my day retarded or was it? Did you learn something? I want to know. Leave it in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one.